Hello, water signs, Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. This is going to be your reading for August 1st through the 15th, 2022. Welcome back, subscribers. Welcome if you are new. I'm doing things a little bit different this time. I don't have time to do all 12 individual readings, so I'm grouping the signs together. I will have individual messages for each of you, though, um, at some point in this reading, so don't worry about that. We are building to the full moon, which will be in Aquarius on August 11th. Also, the link below to my website, I am a clairvoyant psychic reader and healer. I specialize in distance readings and healing, so it does not matter where you live. I have been a full-time master healer for clients globally for over four years now. So again, the link is below. All the information is there, and I do have a 15% discount off your very first session with me. All right, water signs. Let's get an overall energy for you. Whoop. Oh, interesting. Okay, we'll take the one that fell face up. This is the same one that came out for the earth energies. Badger spirit, be fearless and bold. So um, I really love this message for you water signs because this is asking you to maybe let go of where you've been holding yourself back. You know, what is it that you've been wanting to do or wanting to change or wanting to look into or take a chance at? And this is your permission from the universe to take that leap of faith, to, you know, try something that you've been wanting or to get a little bit out of your comfort zone. Um, and to explore and to really trust the process of that. It does take courage to try something new and it is uncomfortable, so I totally get it. But this is your, your overall energy for the first half of August is to be fearless and bold. Don't hold back, water signs. That's what I'm hearing for you, okay? Let's see what else we've got here. Second row is your specific person, those of you dealing with a specific person. What do we need to know about their energy? Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. Okay, really interesting. Those came jumping out. And third row is going to be any clarifying messages. Any final messages? Okay, water signs. First up, we've got, wow, a lot of air energy here. So um, there's definitely going to be a highlight for you guys around communication, mental clarity, and your thoughts, your words, and your exchange of your words with others I'm hearing as well. So I, I'm there's going to be some important conversations happening for you water signs over the next couple weeks, okay? With the Queen of Swords energy here, Queen of Swords is about second chances and laying down the boundaries and speaking the truth, being clear of what is expected, what is wanted, what is needed. And with this Queen of Swords energy reaching towards the Seven of Swords, Seven of Swords is a little bit of like dishonest energy. It can be miscommunication, lack of communication. It can be details being left out or things being maybe over-exaggerated or under-exaggerated. Um, just something being a little bit off there and because of that there are little arguments or disagreements or there's some sort of um, disharmony that is happening between you and another. For a lot of you this could be with a romantic partner but I, I'm also seeing this in a friendship, in a family relationship, possibly with work colleagues. So communication is really being highlighted for you, um, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. And your energy is here with this Queen of Swords. So I'm kind of seeing you take the stand, take the charge, speaking up. And maybe that's part of this overall energy, the being fearless and being bold. Maybe you're used to being the quiet one or allowing others to take the lead or take charge when it comes to, you know, discussing uncomfortable topics or situations. And you're kind of over that. You're, you're over waiting around. You're going to step into... Um, asking for what you need and asking for what you want in a loving way. And if this person can acknowledge maybe where they've messed up or things have been wrong, you will give a second chance. I know that, you know, you want healthy relationships around you, water signs. Those are what you thrive on. So um, I'm kind of seeing this as 
uh, maybe a step up in your sovereignty and your boundaries and what you're willing to accept and not accept from others. And you're kind of in the driver's seat for that, which to me is very exciting. So it's going to be clearing up any little disharmony or arguments or any information that's been left out. So um, a lot of air energy could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius um, here. Okay. Okay. Second row is your specific person. Those of you dealing with a specific person. So you saw all these cards jump out. We've got Knight of Swords, King of Swords, Ten of Cups. So it's kind of funny the message coming through around the Knight of Swords and the King of Swords. I almost see your specific person. They have tried to run away. They have tried to ignore. They have tried to um, you know, escape from their feelings for you and for this relationship. And for whatever reason, they're just not able to. They always end up coming back and wanting to communicate, wanting to see you, wanting something with you. So I'm seeing your specific person kind of bouncing between this Knight of Swords energy and the King of Swords energy. And that can be really confusing for you. So the message that I'm hearing is um, if you're able to look at the bigger picture, you know, this is what you want, water signs. This is what you want, the happily ever after, the commitment, the, the healthy relationship. So if your specific person is kind of bouncing around and they need to bounce around while they get clear on what it is they want, if you just hold strong in your energy with the cups here, the ton of cups, let your specific person figure it out. You can't figure that out for them, okay? But the reason I said it is funny is because I see them like trying to escape this connection and they're not able to. <laughs> and they're having a hard time admitting that to themselves. So um, they just, I'm hearing that they just need to go through it. And each time they have a little outburst, they're gonna step a little bit stronger into this King, King of Swords energy, which the King of Swords, when it comes to love and partnership is very clear. There's no doubt, there's no questioning um, once that King energy is fully embodied. So they're almost like growing up in a way in, in when when it comes to you know this level of a type of relationship so I kind of I'm hearing like they can run but they can't hide and almost from themselves because their their feelings and their emotions and their connection to you and what this could be they're not able to just fully let it go and run and like you know run away so um, interesting messages there so again more air energy uh, Gemini Libra and Aquarius and then we've got water out here as well so Pisces Scorpio or Cancer um, also coming through strongly all right last up we've got the devil the six of pentacles and the hermit card so look at these two major arcana cards here the devil and the hermit both of these can be huge lessons around um, a spiritual lesson and something that we are ready to release and heal so the devil energy often can highlight where we block ourselves, you know, patterns and behaviors that just aren't in our highest good and aren't in alignment with where we're going. And um, since so many in our community and the collective are ascending, are growing, are shifting, the old ways of being just don't resonate anymore. So I, I kind of feel like this devil energy, a lot of us are, are having things and behaviors in our own lives highlighted that just aren't working anymore. And that's what we're releasing. And I see the, the full moon in Aquarius really helping uh, solidify some of that release as well. And then you've got the hermit card here, which is very supportive of a spiritual lesson. The Hermit card helps us to take a little time out, take a little quiet time with ourselves to get clear, to get the uh, lesson, to get the message. And with the Six of, of Pentacles in the middle, there's a balancing happening um, in you. Actually, water signs, I'm hearing there's a balancing happening between body, mind, and spirit. So normally this Six of Pentacles is about an, an out of balance relationship around you. I am hearing it differently this time that there's an out of balance relationship within yourself, between your body, your mind, and your spirit. That's gonna be different for each of you. So, you know, the devil may be speaking to the body, the physical body. Maybe we have some unhealthy patterns 
and behaviors when it comes to the way we take care of ourselves, the food that we eat, how we treat our body. And then the hermit card is coming in with the spiritual lesson. How do we take care of our spiritual self, our higher self, um, and that part of us? And then the balancing act is happening here. So this is a really um, beautiful message for you, water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpios. I love this. Um, also, you may be dealing with a Virgo. You may be dealing with a Capricorn and then other earth energy here, Taurus and Virgo um, coming through as well. So just all the earth is showing up right here. And that can also be energy that is just helping to ground you down, water signs, while you go through some of this um, kind of shifting and changing. So let me pull some individual messages now for each of you. All right, Scorpio, what do we need to know? Why is this coming up for you? What is your specific message, Scorpio? Okay, Scorpio, the reason um, all of this is coming up is you've got the Ace of Pentacles. You're really craving a solid foundation and start uh, with something or someone new in your life. So I am seeing this as a message of you kind of being fearless and bold, that overall energy and having the tough conversation, right? Speaking about what is uncomfortable here, focusing on the bigger picture, what you really want and being willing to get the lessons and to let go of where maybe you are blocking yourself. So um, you know, the reason all of this is coming up for you is you're working to give yourself a brand new beginning, a fresh start. And I love that it's pentacle energy that came through because that to me shows a solid foundation that really can grow and develop in a healthy way over time. Okay, so Ace of Pentacles, again, Earth energy coming in. You could um, have an opportunity come in from a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. Okay, Scorpio, so that is your individual message. Let's get Cancer. What is your specific message, Cancer? Why is this all coming up for you? Okay, Cancer, your clarifying message is the Eight of Swords. So the reason this is all coming up for you is um, there's areas that you haven't even been able to see or understand in some of your relationships. So I'm also seeing, you know, this is Swords and almost, most of the cards out here are Swords. So there's really something opening up for you, Cancer, in regards to... Um, your communication, your words, how you express yourself, um, the way you um, communicate with others. And I'm seeing you kind of break free and break out of this because, again, your energy earlier with the Queen of Swords was to, you know, no longer keep quiet, no longer take the back seat. And maybe you weren't even aware that you were keeping quiet or that you were taking the back seat. And this is your opportunity to take the blindfold off, take your power back and really focus on what it is that you want to create in your life while bringing balance to your body, mind and spirit. So really powerful cancer um, to shift out of this eight of swords energy is, you know, does take um, the need to be fearless and bold. So you are absolutely supported for that at this time. Okay, Pisces, what is your message? Pisces, Pisces, why is this coming up for you? What is your specific message? Ooh, whoa, whoa, Pisces, okay. <laughs> You're anxious for your message. Let's see, what is it? Okay, so this is coming up for you. You've got the Knight of Wands energy here. And uh, Pisces, you like to be really stable and really solid. And so some of this um, miscommunication and uh, hiccups when it comes to communication really gives you a feeling of not feeling that stable, secure energy that you like to feel. So this is what you're growing and shifting out of is the Knight of Wands type energy. I'm also seeing you um, in a healthy way kind of move away from friends, coworkers, romantic interests around you that do embody some of this energy, the kind of hot and cold, in and out, like not really sure type energy. And I'm hearing right now that 
that doesn't work for you and you don't want that and you're no longer going to put up with that and maybe in the past you did put up with it and you did cross your boundaries a little bit but you're telling me no more and you're going to be fearless and bold and you're going to let this type of energy take a hike okay so i'm really proud of you for that that actually um even as my words come through they feel strong they feel full of strength okay all right, Pisces, that was your individual message. Okay, let's see what else we've got for you, water signs. Look at this, you've got the balance card. We've been talking a lot about balance in body, mind, and spirit. So this is one more message for you around that. And um, this may take you just taking a moment with yourself and doing a little self-reflecting of where do you feel out of balance? What can you shift? What is needed um, to, to feel more in alignment in body, mind, and spirit? And what that means for you, that's gonna be different for each of you, right? So that's a really kind of personal, individual um, thing of what makes you feel balanced. Okay, let's get you a spirit animal message and then we will wrap up. Water signs, August 1st through 15th. All right, you've got the giraffe, visionary. Rise above earthly matters. Glide through life with grace. You are able to see the right path. Stand tall in your self-worth and love with a big heart. Ooh, the part that stands out to me, Water Signs, is the stand tall in your self-worth because to me that is what's been coming through in this whole reading is you taking a stand and allowing things to shift and heal where needed and you are being fearless and bold and that is you taking a stand. So this kind of energy is going away and you're moving more towards this kind of energy. So um, I actually really love this spirit animal for you, the giraffe, and then you've also got that badger spirit. <laughs> kind of an animal very close to the ground and then the giraffe is like more up in the sky. Again, bring, bringing that balance. So really beautiful. This is your spirit animal through August 15th. Um, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. I hope these messages resonate. You can always watch your moon sign, your rising, or any other placement. Um, thank you for your likes, your comments, and your subscribes. They really do make a difference. And if you missed the intro, I am a clairvoyant psychic reader and healer. I specialize in distance readings and healings. It does not matter where you live. I've been a full-time master healer for clients globally for over four years now. So the link below to my website, all the information is there. And there is a 15 percent discount off your very first session with me that you can take advantage of if you feel called to do so. Um, if you are feeling blocked or stuck or just not your normal self in any way, a healing and a reading can really help uh, release what needs to be released and bring you back into your highest and best alignment, okay? So I think that's it, water signs. I'm wishing you a beautiful start to August. Happy full moon in Aquarius on the 11th, and I will see you guys back here for the second half of August readings. Take care.